Hello, smart investors and beautiful people. My name is Gabriel Jarrison. I'm from beautiful and rainy Paris, France. Today, I'm going to talk about Amber Fund raising capital on Republic. Uh, before we start, of course, as usual, I'd like to invite you to hit the subscribe button. The YouTube channel is growing pretty quickly. That thanks to you, and that's really what's keeping me going. So please hit the subscribe button. You'll get all of my new videos, and you'll join the community of the smart investors. Let's go. Before we start, I'd like to remind you, this is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. Please do your own research and take your own decisions. That's for one thing. Second of all, if you want to invest in the best deals with me, the best startup deals that are not on any platforms that you don't find on Republic, I'd like to invite you to join my uh, syndicate on AngelList. The link is in the description. You can just apply. It's completely free. No commitment. This will just, just allow you to see my best deals and invest with me. Now to Ember Fund. So here I am on the website. Here I am with the list of my investment criteria. You can download them in the description if you don't know them. And I've just watched a short video here and I'm going to discover the project with you. Basically, the idea of Ember Fund is invest like a cryptocurrency hedge fund with only $300. So it's an app that actually allows you to invest money to replicate the investments of someone else. Um, if you want to follow what they're investing into and uh, yeah, benefit from, from what they're doing, you can just copy them, basically. It's just like we do in Leonie's private uh, uh, investment club. I invest in some startups on, that, on, on Republic, on other websites, and you can imitate me. It's pretty much the same. Uh, so they're non-custodial. So if you know a little bit about crypto, <clears throat> it means that they don't, uh, uh, they don't keep uh, the uh, the cryptocurrency they don't they don't store it themselves. Uh, it's actually very smart for them. It's a good move because it means that they're not uh, responsible for any uh, any crypto and they don't have to protect themselves that much from hackers. If you are custodial, that it's a huge responsibility because you you could be the target of a hacker and they don't have that problem. So immediately, what can we say from? From what we know, from what we, 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 we see from that very short video, so it's scalable, it's just a, an app. Um, the market obviously is huge, uh, we'll see about the rest, okay? But this is what we can say right away. So the first app that allows anyone to invest in managed cryptocurrency portfolio, I'm not sure it's actually the first app, I've seen it before, but it's okay. They have a partnership with the number one crypto influencer on Quora. Okay, oh, that's cool, that's interesting. Uh, and also top crypto influencer on YouTube, 320,000 plus subscribers, $10 million in transaction volume within nine months of launch. So this answers the question of the traction. They do have a great traction. That's always a good thing. And they're generating on average $150 of revenue per user per year with $50 cost per acquisition. So they do know how to make money. Uh, monetization, they actually have 100% mar margin or 66% if you take into consideration the cost per acquisition, but the margin here is 100%. The only thing they do have is their servers, of course, their R&D, the website, stuff like that, but it's, it's a very, uh, it potentially a very lucrative and high margin business. That you, that's something that you can grasp uh, from, the, from the video, from the model, from how it's set up. So there's client-side encryption that allows Ember Fund to be non-custodial. So that's what I was talking about. So a little bit technical, but it, it is important and it is a very good thing. I think that they're not non-custodial and launching multiple innovative DeFi product Q4 2019. Okay. So the problem that they're solving investing in crypto is complicated. We have the valuation here. We'll come back to it, obviously. Um, the secure and easy way to invest can follow experts, it's non-custodial, there's a powerful technology and you can build custom portfolios. Okay, perfect. Um, so it's, it's secure, uh, one tap investing, blah, blah, blah. So 10 million transactions. What I'm really interested in is that we can see immediately they say they have 10 million in transactions uh, here and they say they make 150 per user on average, but they're not telling us how many users do they have. So we can actually, we don't know how much money are they making. Is it 10 million from like one guy? <laughs> and, or is it from 10 million guys? Uh, so far, we don't know. So let's see. I, I doubt we'll find it in, in there, but uh, user growth. There it is. Okay. Well, you see, I just had to be patient. All right. So they're somewhere around 10,000 users. All right. So 10,000 times 150, 
one million five in revenue uh, potentially from if all of those uh, users were active and if they were making their 150. Um, I'm not sure about the revenue to date, uh, but I would say, oh yeah, projected 2020 1.5 million revenue. That's what I was, okay. Uh, the project to reach 18,000 users. Uh, now the revenue per user is 80, it used to be 150 just at the top of the page. Uh, so if we keep scrolling, it's gonna be zero, I guess. Uh, they're projecting in 2026, 100 million revenue, even though that really doesn't mean anything. I don't even, uh, yeah, I won't even get into that. Uh, the market is growing quickly. Of course, we know the crypto market is growing. Uh, first to market is kind of a stretch, but okay. So yeah, let's talk about the valuation. The valuation is 15% with the, uh, is $5 million with a 15% discount. So that's five times 0 0.85. So that's actually a four, $4.2 million valuation for a company that's projected to make 1.5 million in revenue and actually probably in margin next year, I would say the valuation is okay, it's correct, it's fair. Um, I wouldn't say it's great, uh, I mean, because we don't know how much money they did to date, like uh, as of the end of October 2019, for instance, how much money did they make? We don't know. Uh, so projections are just that, projections, and, and it's, it's easy to project that you're gonna make a lot of money, but I'd love to see how much money they did make so far. Uh, but the transaction volume seems to increase. The user growth seems good. I'm surprised that they only target 18,000 users by the end of 2020. Uh, maybe it's active users, and maybe out of the 10,000 users that they have here, there's only maybe one or 2,000 that are active. I'm surprised because they're almost at 10K right now and they're projecting in more than 12 months to be at 18k so that's like uh, did i read that correctly yes 18,000 users right so that's 18k that's like <clears throat> very very small abysmal abysmally small so my guess is that would be uh, 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 active users and that's just registered users and then the percentage of active users is very much much smaller than the registered users. I, I i really don't know i would love to have more uh, info about that. Um, so, but that being said, I, I, I did say that the valuation I think is fair. Um, let's see if they do have uh, an unfair advantage or if someone else can do it. We have the founders, Guillaume, who's obviously French that you can, you can tell from the, uh, from the accent in the video. Uh, we're going to go confirm that with his uh, LinkedIn profile. We're going to look at Guillaume Torch and, uh, and uh, Alex Wang, Wang, Wang. Uh, see what they did before, uh, do they have entrepreneurial background, crypto background, did, did they write, uh, uh, start a previous company, stuff like that. Let's see if LinkedIn would like to, okay, so Venice, California, let's see first of all if I'm correct, uh, where did he, I don't know, he's not French, oh my god, that's like, his accent sounded so, so French, it was, it's crazy. Uh, but maybe not. Anyway, oh yeah, Thales is a French company. Wait, wait, wait. Any technology de Compiègne. Oh yeah, you just say Compiègne. Uh, uh, very great um, French uh, city, Compiègne, with a great university. So he is French. That's what I thought. Come on. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> did he start a company before? No. He worked there and uh, lead da data engineer, data scientist, and that co-founder for one year in Los Angeles. So Guillaume is not the. Uh, does not have a uh, uh, entrepreneurial background, but wait, I went too quickly. Let me go back to Guillaume's profile. He's uh, the tech guy, I guess, sort of. I mean, he's a data guy. He's not a, a, a developer, but he's a, a data guy, uh, which is important, obviously. Then we have Alex, 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 Alex. He's a product manager. He used to be a product manager at GumGum, so this is where they met, probably. Um, founder, okay, Carapace Wetsuits, and he sold it. A Kickstarter founded founded e-commerce company that are revolutionizing the surf industry by leveraging cutting edge CAD technology to manufacture custom fit wetsuits. Oh, that's cool, and he sold it. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Save completed. Promissory note satisfied. Remaining equity position sold. Okay, wow. No, that's awesome. So, a, a, an entrepreneur uh, with a French data scientist, and the last one. Oh, so he's the CTO. Okay, he's the tech guy. Well, okay. And then we have the CIO, okay, Mario. Uh, so 
yeah, the team looks legit. Team looks good. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's the best team I've ever seen. They're pretty young, and and Guillaume is it's his first company, but Alex built the company and sold it, so that's that's gotta say something. No experience in crypto before, um, but then again, crypto is pretty recent, pretty new. So that that's uh, I mean it's something that you're gonna encounter often. And um, but no, yeah, okay, no, the team. I think the team is good. The team is the team seems pretty good. All right, now for uh, before we finish for the unfair advantage. So I'm trying to answer the question: If you and I tomorrow want to start a crypto uh, hedge fund that you can imitate, if you want to if you want to create an Ember fund uh, competitor, if you and I want to do it, is it going to be easier for us or harder? Uh, and usually, usually it could be a patent, it could be a secret recipe, a secret sauce, a secret something. Uh, here, I don't see many I don't see anything that's preventing someone else from doing it and that is a big thing because of course one of the answers is traction they have 10,000 users so that's like they're ahead of us if we want to start tomorrow do the same thing but uh, 10,000 users on the millions and millions of billions and billions like someone would say of people who either use crypto today or will use it in the future that is a very 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 tiny teeny tiny head start very small uh, and that's it there's no proprietary technology there is not much um, so yeah I mean I'm also I'm surprised by this there's 10 plus 5,000 downloads so that's 15 and most people who download it maybe don't you don't don't register because there's only 10k users i mean anyway this doesn't really add up but that's okay so yeah i will say that the uh, unfair advantage here is not is not present and that is a big deal okay so uh, everything looks great up until this point and 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 it is a big deal so that's that's the only uh, red uh, point on that on that uh, idea um yeah and it is a big deal anyway you guys Thank you for watching. This is it for my review. Uh, please uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Obviously, if you want to know if I'm investing or not my own money in Amberfund, feel free to join the private Leonis Investment Group. The link is in the description. In that private group, I'll tell you which of these companies I'm investing into and which of them I'm not and why. Um, if you want to follow my investments, you feel free to do so. And of course, also, uh, if you want to back my AngelList syndicates, you'll, uh, my AngelList syndicate, you'll uh, access the best, best, best deals that I invest my own money into that are not on any platforms. They're private. You can uh, back me up on AngelList for free. Uh, no commitment. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about Amberphone. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.